Hey, what's up everybody? Our Boots Games here and welcome back to my Minecraft survival. So remember last episode when I was freaking out? Well, I'm not really freaking out, but I needed to grow my sugar cane so I can make another map. Well, let me tell you something. I can never find anything if it's in the bottom right of my inventory. Because clearly, I had a map the entire time. So, pardon my retarding, but uh, sorry I wasted like 20 minutes of an episode trying to make something I already had. But now I am heading home. And they, they really gotta fix this thing with the map. Like... If you're in a boat and looking at a map, it's really screwed up. And I'm going to park my boat here and kill these squids. Not because one of them crashed my boat once, but because I may end up wanting their ink sacks later. Now, you're probably thinking, well, you can just kill them later. Well, maybe, but... The reason I don't want to, like, try to do that is because in my world, there are literally no squids in it. I know that... Oh, crap. I'm gonna drown. Well, at least I don't get sucked down when I die. But in my other squid... My other squid? My other world, there are no squids there. I know they spawn... Like in uh, the height, in it says one, one or more deep water at uh, height 62, between height 62 and uh, what was it 62 and what was it 45? I think, yeah, that's where they spawn. Well, I traveled miles. What the heck is this? That is so weird. I traveled miles, like, in the middle of an ocean, didn't find one squid. I don't know if there's something wrong with my world or what. And I also found, like, an air pocket in that world, too, while I was searching around. So I don't, I don't know if that's a glitch in the world seed where that happens or what, but it looks pretty cool. Ah, uh, the my sword! No! Are you kidding me? I lost my sword to a freaking squid. Should I use my diamond shovel? Cause like I said, that seems to be my weapon of choice. If I don't have a sword, I think I'll just use my bow or something. I don't know. Did I get it? Oh, got it. Good. There you go. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm placing a bucket of water on the ground. Well, to get rid of the water that's in my bucket. Then, if you right click, it, it doesn't actually pick up the water from like the block that you're looking at. It picks it up right in front of your face which makes an air pocket and allows you to breathe. Is this an unloaded chunk or what? Um, yes it was. This is really annoying, I can't... Like, I have actually traveled the wrong direction because the map... my The arrow on my map was backwards. I'm going to try and make a squid farm at home. I know I said I was going to try to make like a farm of every type of animal. And a squid isn't exactly like an animal, but it's a living creature. And they do actually despawn and respawn, unlike most animals. Most animals, do, like the old... I guess you could say AI of the animals that used to despawn like like squids do now, but thankfully they fixed that. Or else that'd be a little annoying to try to get like food and stuff. 
Well, actually, I don't know. Getting food would probably be easier because you wouldn't have to worry about keeping animals alive. But, I'm just checking if I'm on normal. But, um, yeah, I, I, I like it better where you have to actually keep an animal. And I actually really need to get home because my sword is broken. I'm just gonna have to run as fast as I can. Chicken. And I guess if you really don't have any animals around you, you can just load up a new part of the map and you will find one. I want this. I don't know why, but I do. Ooh, sugarcane. So another reason, whoops, I think it was actually another reason of going on this trip. Actually, I think it was the main reason. I want to find an NPC village because I want to get my trade on. And that's what brought up that whole problem with the, with uh, the no squids. Well, actually first I was making my endermen mob trap in the end and I wanted to make it out of black wool and I couldn't find any sheep to get ink sacks from but clearly I found them before because uh, because I had gray sheep in my farm so I don't know I kinda want these Ooh, I don't know if I have enough arrows to actually safely do this oh gosh I saw him there but ow yeah this is not gonna happen I'm running ha I am on this map now of course my inventory is full uh Got a long ways to go. Did I find any emeralds? I don't think so. Yeah, I wasn't in the extreme hills. I was in like the ocean. I should do that. Because clearly there's extreme hills over here. But I guess mining for... Oh crap. Mining for... uh. Emeralds would be pretty pointless if I don't know where any NPC village is. So, I'll have to find the NPC village before I do that. I never finished my story about, uh, ooh, more pumpkins. About wanting ink sacks. So yeah, I told you the main reason, or the first problem with not having ink sacks I wanted black wool but I couldn't find any squids but what brought it up again is I found an NPC village and I started like trading with them so I um so hold on well, I'm close to home so one of them wanted a written book so oh leg so I needed an ink sack to make a book and quill to quickly make a book, but once again, no ink sack, so I couldn't do that. Oh gosh. So let me charge indoors, make a diamond sword, and enchant it. Got a cow in there. Just wanted to make sure that was still there. I didn't want like an escapee. Oh, that's right, my inventory is full. So which one, this is the map for out there. So I'll keep, I don't really want that map on me. Holy eggs. Actually, it wasn't that much. Hold on, let me, actually, I want to sleep through the night first. So, hmm, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> and, yep. 
I remember that though. I didn't even get to see my nightlight. Dang redstone's blocking it. Oh wait. Where, do, where should I put my ender chest? Should I put it like up here? Put it like boom. Um, I'll put it right there. So, oh my gosh, I got a lot of junk. Where am I? I'm gonna have to sort. I should really sort this while I'm not recording, but this has only been 10 minutes. So, I'm not gonna do that. Redstone goes in there. I should have put my moss stone. Should I put that in here? Huh. I'll put it right there. Why not? Oh gosh, where am I gonna put ice? It doesn't really fall under the category of any of these. Gravel. Um. I wanna start a. Well, I guess this is going back to the. What I, I wanted to start a farm of every type of animal. And I think I also said that about food. Mushrooms aren't exactly food themselves, but you can make them into it. Whoops, that's my cold chest. So I'm going to have to start a mushroom farm. I'll sort the stuff in my ender chest later. For now, I just want to sort my inventory. Um, anything? Oh, shoot, that's right. My diamond sword. Do you like my sword, 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 my diamond sword, sword? Uh, where do I want to put this? Right there, whatever. I got a lot of iron tools from zombies. Nine TNT, why do I have that? Did I make that or what? I think I did. Pearls should go back there. String, sand, flint, bucket, and then I am almost done sorting this. And I'm probably gonna have to come back down here again to get all this stuff back, but I just wanna get rid of all this stuff in my inventory for now. Um, am I having cooked chicken, or did I put that in my ender chest? I feel like I put it in my ender chest. I hope so. Um, there's cooked pork chop. Huh. Guess I don't even have it. Wait. Eh. Whatever, I'm gonna have to kill those chickens soon. So, this, I still have a problem with uh, this thing. This works, like the reset thing works, but whenever I breed the cows, the baby cow like ends up in the back of this thing and I can't get him into the minecart. So, I think I have that figured out in this world. Um... I'll, yeah, it's not, like, resetting it isn't always the best, because I don't know how this cow always ends up over there, but he does, so. That keeps him in a one-by-one -one area, so the baby cow shouldn't be able to escape. But let's try this. Um, wheat. And this should have a... Yes, it does. So... And... Baby cow's in that one, so... He can't leave because he's in a one-by-one -one area. Because these pistons push a block in the way. So let's try this. Nope. Nope. Wait, I think I remember... Yeah, there we go. 
So, like I said, still not 100% like perfect, but it works. I'll have to put that in the world. But I rem if I remember correctly, I hope this doesn't like go into the mine. It shouldn't. It might though. So I did actually say I wanted to start my pig farm when I got back. So I will do that after I get another cow in that farm. Because really that, like that contraption thing I have set up and my wheat's in my ender chest. I really only have to use it like every once in a while because... I need to enchant my sword now. What do you think I will get? I hope I get looting from my sword. That'd be pretty cool. But sharpness would be really helpful. I'm just gonna take the first one. Ban- Aw, oh, you- Gah. I'm not gonna do that again. I'll try to- I, I usually try to find the one with the most text, and... I, get, I found a bow. Level 30 enchantment. The text went out of the square where, like, it usually is. So, and it was actually a really good enchantment. Oh my gosh. I, I hate this so much. Get in the minecart. Thank, no, no. Thank you. And thank you. Have a nice day. Hmm. Huh. Feed wheat. Get the minecart out. Yep. See, last time I actually cut this part out, but I will show you what I had to go through to get the baby cow out of this thing. I'm just gonna cut a hole in the wall because I am actually going to remove this so baby cow you coming with me maybe I don't know this is so stupid So far, the only good thing I have found about uh, the new update with the server running in the background is, uh, crap, I'm not going to get to the pig farm this episode, is the fact that like high efficiency tools, they actually dig a lot faster. I think the reason for that is because like the lag. But for the most part, I hate that the server is running in the background. See, look how difficult this is. The cow is like, I don't even know where the cow's location is. They glitch through the wall and they might look like they're inside your house at one moment and then they'll like launch back into their caged area or something. Do I have any half slabs? Uh, there. I don't even care what kind of half slabs they are. I just want them out of here. Actually, I could just dig out this whole area, but... Great. Yeah, see? Look, he's in the floor. Come on. This is probably more annoying than the fact that I had an, a map with me the entire time last episode and I didn't even know it. Okay, now let me get around you. You better be able to hop up this. In the minecart. Thank you. There we go. So finally, I got two cows in here, and how do I get out? Did I really never figure that part out? 
I thought I had a gate. Whatever. Finally got two cows in here, so I'm not going to have to deal with that again for a while. I just want to kill him right now. So, I hope you liked this episode. I'm going to have to end it here. It was mostly just me getting mad at the cows, but... Whatever. I will have to fix this off camera. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.